come to a revelation that most Kenyans prefer to go to a chemist and buy medicine instead of going for a checkup and be prescribed with the correct medication by a doctor. Today I'll be camping here in Rongai area, Kajoro County, just to seek the view of Kenyans as to why they prefer self-prescription instead of going to a doctor. And also I'll be pointing out the dangerous one main car in doing so. Over-the-counter medicine, commonly referred to as the OTC medicines, are drugs you can buy without a prescription. The number of over-the-counter medications is increasing as more prescription medications are being switched to OTC status. Self-medication moves patients towards greater independence in making decisions about management of minor illnesses. Self-medication also has advantages for healthcare systems as it facilitates better use of clinical skills, increases access to medication, and may contribute to reducing prescribed drug costs associated with public-funded health programs. However, self-medication is associated with risks such as misdiagnosis, use of excessive drug dosage, prolonged duration of use, drug interactions, and polypharmacy. The following are reasons why most people prefer to buy drugs from a chemist instead of going to a hospital. 1. The drugs in a chemist are cheaply affordable as compared to the ones in the hospital. And 2. It gives many people a sense of self-control over their health and well-being. 3. The medicines are readily available unlike in a hospital, where after a treatment one individual can be sent to purchase drugs somewhere else, hence the preference of going direct to a chemist. Uh. Mostly, when you go to the hospital, you get that those people may be, maybe the private hospitals. The cost of medicine is a bit higher than the So, people may prefer because maybe when you just come to here, you just, you just give me the like, uh, maybe you got some malaria, yeah, anything you pay for it. So, our prices are. Maybe. You know, we have two types of medicine here. We have the generic ones and the generic ones. And so you get most people from those hospitals. Those people, they just stay, they stick with the medical medicine. So here, we, we have a good medicine, the generic and the original. So the generic is a bit cheaper. So that's why you get most people, they just come to the pharmacy. Yeah, they, they don't have to go through maybe long process before they get the medicine. Yes, Ababu in a funny to enter chemist. Wakati mbili unaweza kuwa ile ugonjwa umeojeka. Ni ugonjwa mdogo sana. Ama sio ile ugonjwa ambao ni mkubwa sana. So unaonelea uende kwa chemist, uchukue dawa, ukunywe ama umeze. Kuna zile expenses zenye mtu anatumiaga kwenda kwa hospitali kama hizo test ndio maana mtu anaenda kwa chemist. Sana sana kama unaelewa Kenya kina subua kwa mwili ama umewojeka wapi or you understanding the symptoms and maybe you had that area you had the same problem unakibia tu kwa chemist unaitisha zile dawa ulikuwa previous room yaandikiwa sababu kwa ajili ya time unajua ukienda kwa hospitali inashukua muda unaona kupanga line siji kwa siji unaenda kwa daktari siji unalipa inaitwa aje ile ya kuona daktari ya yeah, consultation hiyo kutoka hapo siji kuingia hapa unaona time inakibia sasa uh, mara, mara mingi na mtu akienda hospitali sana jua bila mesikia sasa ndo kwa maana mtu anapata anaenda hospitali yaani kwa chemist anunua dawa bila kusidewa anapata dawa ndio daktari Panadol, Sonamoza, Action and Maramoza are just some of the examples that most Kenyans tend to use to cure their headaches. But have you ever at some point asked yourself that, yeah, you might be taking the correct medication, but is it for the right disease?
prefer to, prefer to go to a chemist to buy medicine to treat their illnesses instead of coming to a hospital like this and see a doctor like you to be checked and prescribed with the correct medication. For one, it is more expensive. Mm -hmm. Since you have to start with the whole procedure from consultation yeah. to lab fees, so they prefer going to the pharmacy because you only have to pay for the medicine, yeah. not for the consultation, yeah. not for the lab work. Mm -hmm. Two, it is there's this kind of fear of unknown yeah. that every time they come here, like we will get to test for something that they didn't expect to be tested for. Mm -hmm. So they prefer to go to a pharmacy where there's no much testing. Yeah. So there's just fear, fear of something they do not know. And three, it is time consuming. Yeah. As I said before, there's a whole procedure from the reception to the consultation to the lab. So they prefer something that will be faster for them that will take less time for them. Since they are legal and easy to find, OTC drugs are also easy to abuse. Like any medicine, they can have their benefits when taken as directed and in moderation. But there is the danger of taking too much, mixing them with other drugs and even overdosing. They can damage your body for life and even cause death. But sometimes OTC drugs can cause unpleasant effects or adverse effects rather. The adverse effects include the following. Side effects. This refers to effects that medicines have on your body that don't help your symptoms. A few examples are nausea, dizziness, or bleeding in your digestive tract. Drug-to-drug -drug interactions. This is where the body processes every medicine differently. When medicines are used together, the way they affect the body can change. Drug-to-food interactions. This refers to how food may change how your body processes some OTC or prescription medicines that sometimes when you eat and drink can affect the ingredients in a medicine you are taking. This prevents the medicine from working the way it should. Allergic reactions. It is not common, but some people are allergic to certain medicines. Signs of an allergic reaction include eating, hives, and breathing problems. You buy medicine and don't know the correct dosage, yeah. which ends up being a very big problem because you could die, you could come to the hospital and get admitted. Yeah. Two is misdiagnosis. Yeah. You could think you have a different problem and take medicine for a certain problem. Yeah. Let's say you have a tummy ache. Yeah. So you go to the, to the pharmacy and buy uh, painkillers. Yeah. But on the other hand, maybe you have another problem, like kidney stones that need another type of medicine. So yeah. there are also dangers of going to the pharmacy instead of the doctors. Just as the doctor from Sterling Medical Care has said, you can't be given the correct prescription of drugs but to the wrong disease. Thus, a doctor's consultation is much of essence when it comes to your treatment procedure. My name is Abel, Omar Setes.